The first game is one through 10. One through 10 is extremely fun. The learning objective is to get your students to work as a team to accomplish a goal and listen to each other. How it works is you have your students create a circle. Circle up. Everybody get up out their seats and create a circle facing inward. I always like to give students a 10 second countdown to create their circle. 10, 9, 8, all the way 3, 2, 1. Once students have created their circle, I give directions. So 1 through 10 is a game that helps students work together. There will be one student who starts off by saying one. And then another student, it does not have to go clockwise. Any student can say the next number, two. The catch to the game is only one student at a time can say the next number, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 10. If two or more students say the same exact number, so let's say, for example, we go one, two, and two students say three, we all have to start back over at one until we can get to 10. Now some rules about one through 10. You cannot point or raise your hand to um, identify that you're gonna say the next number. Students are to have their hands behind their back. They can only use their voices to say the next number. So that's one through 10, really creative. So have your kids circle up, facing inward. One person will start off by saying one. Then someone else will try to say the next number, two. All the way up to 10, and hopefully only one student at a time says a number. If more than two, or excuse me, one student says a number, the same exact number, they start over. Give the kids three chances at this game. Up the stakes a little bit. But it's extremely fun, a great way to teach them listening skills, uh, working together and accomplishing a goal.